All right, how's it going, everyone? So I want to have a little video. It's just, this will probably be really short. About, like, when do you abstract stuff away? When do you dry code up? When do you pull out functions and make helper functions? So there's a couple of rule of thumbs I like to kind of use. The first one is if you find yourself, like, repeating yourself over and over and over again, then it's probably good to abstract some of that stuff away. So for an example, if you have a React component here and you find yourself fetching stuff from a data or like an endpoint, I mean, you notice that some of this code is pretty repetitive. So you might have like hundreds of React components all doing a very similar approach of doing a fetch request and then doing this dot then res.json. So if this part is like, you notice that this part's getting kind of repetitive, then maybe it's a good idea to abstract this away into a helper function. So that's kind of one rule of thumb I like to follow. Another rule of thumb I like to follow is would it make the code easier to be reusable if I had all of this in a helper method? Um, and sometimes it's better to wait until you find a reason to like make this reusable. But if you notice that you have two pages where you need to fetch all the users to do's for some reason, then maybe then it's a good idea to abstract this away into some other function. So let's just go ahead and do that real quick. I'm gonna make a new request or a new function called get to do's request. And honestly, you can name it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Just be consistent. So doing something like this, at the very least, makes it a little bit cleaner, especially since you can easily read through this and see that, okay, when this component mounts, I'm just going to get my to-dos. Uh, I like putting you know, either API at keyword or put like request in the actual function name so you know what it's doing. You know it's like an HTTP request, but you can name this whatever you want. All right, so now the next step, step is for in terms of like drying up your code and when do you abstract your code? Again, this is just one basic example. It's probably not the best example. Um, I could probably find other ways to like teach this instead of just doing like API requests. But if you find yourself doing the same fetch um, endpoint, you have to kind of think uh, like take a step back and actually inspect your code and think long term like what happens in the future if the fetch method is deprecated what well, let's say in five years your application is still used but the browser decides to implement a new method not fetch something else that you actually need to use well if you have the fetch method kind of sprinkled throughout your code base let's say you have 100 200 files it makes it a little bit harder to refactor away your code to no longer use fetch or let's say you want to use Axios for something instead because everyone's using it. It's the new hotness and you want to use it as well. So another approach is, do you want to abstract away the library that's used and make your own wrapper for it? Okay, so this is, this is a way to kind of insulate your own code base from third-party dependencies. This is good to kind of do if you're building out an application that you think is going to be around for a very long time or you're using a library that you think might be deprecated or abandoned by the open source community next year. So what you could also do, and this is like what I like to do with my, um, my HTTP requests, is you can make helper methods. So I can say like const git uh, request or something. And this git request is going to take in a URL and it's going to basically return fetch of that URL. Right, so you can do something like this. And theoretically, this should work, assuming I don't have a bug. But the idea is now you basically basically abstracted away fetch from your code base. Okay, so your entire code base would just use git request whenever it needs to do a git request. And you could also do something similar with like post request or something. Um, the difference is I think you have to like do something like method.post, something like this, and then like set some headers. Maybe you need to do a body here as well. Let me just do that real quick. So this makes more sense. All right, so let me make sure I'm doing this right. So you can make another method called post request, which again, it abstracts all the underlying implementation details of how fetch works. And all it does is it takes a URL and a body. Um, and the idea is like, you can extend this even more. Like if you wanted to allow it to pass like some type of headers, you could do this. But again, what I'm trying to get at is you've abstracted away the underlying fetch library. So now in your code base, you can literally just do like 
I want to do a post request to this endpoint and I want to pass it some data here. So these are some good strategies you can do when you want to abstract code or dry up your code. So I know this video is super short, but I just want to kind of give a really quick tidbit about like, when do you clean up your code? When do you abstract stuff away? And just keep an eye out for stuff. If you notice that stuff's like getting duplicated all throughout your code base, um, or if you're using a third party library that you have a feeling that it might be deprecated uh, in the future, or there might be like a major version update of that library and you don't want to have to like spend a, a bunch of time refactoring everything, you kind of have to like figure out the trade offs in your head of when is this worth abstracting and when is it not worth abstracting. And then also be careful for useless abstractions. Like if you find that you made a function that basically just doesn't really do much. To try to abstract something away just make sure you're careful about that because you can make your code more complex by like abstracting away some underlying implementation that really you could have just done right here and it would have been easier to understand so after you do your abstractions like read through them does this seem cleaner and make more sense than the approach i started with i would say yes because it makes this thing reusable there's a high chance i need to get to do other places in my application um and then this is kind of more reusable for like abstracting away uh, the fetch method from my entire code base. Anyway, hope that little tidbit was useful. Um, I could probably give you a better example in the future of like something other than API requests, but give me a thumbs up, give me a comment, leave a subscribe and join me discord. If you have any questions, have a good day and happy coding.